Welcome to part two of the video of setting up your iPad with settings and restrictions. First thing you should do is touch the camera app. First time you use the camera, it will prompt you to ask you if you want it to use your current location. We're going to suggest don't allow. After you've selected that, touch the home button to get back to your home screen and choose the settings icon. First thing you should do is in the settings, a uh, third thing from the top on the left hand side is Bluetooth. Touch that where it says Bluetooth and turn Bluetooth off. That will save some battery life. Further down, uh, look for iCloud about halfway down the screen on the left hand side. Ensure that Find My iPad should be turned on. With Find My iPad, when you choose Find My iPad, it will ask you to cancel or allow. Please allow that. Uh, documents and data and photo stream right above that should be turned off and I should everything else in that section. About four further down on the left hand side you'll see messages. You can turn that off by clicking on messages and then turning iMessage up at the top off. Scrolling down a little bit further on the left hand side you'll see iTunes and app stores. Please choose that. Ensure that the Apple ID is the correct one up at the top and then allow automatic downloads for both music and apps. You'll need to scroll a little bit further down on the left hand side looking for photos and camera and please ensure that my photo stream and shared photo streams are both turned off. And on the left again scroll up. The sixth item down from the top on the left hand side is general. First thing you should do, about halfway down, there is an option for passcode lock. The default is it's off. Please click passcode lock and put a four character password in on your device. It is board policy that all of the Wired USB owned devices have a password on them. And it's just smart use of a technological device. So make it simple, but not too simple. You'll have to input it twice in order for it to take. Please click General up at the top middle of your screen, right underneath the time. Right underneath where the passcode lock was on the right hand side, which is now on, is something called Restrictions. So if you click Restrictions, up at the very top, please click on Enable Restrictions, and you will again be prompted to enter a passcode. Please do not make it the same as the uh, passcode that you just set for the device. And then within the Restrictions, uh, you will want to um, Turn off FaceTime, deleting apps, and explicit language. Then in the allowed content section, the ratings for Canada. I read under that, music and podcasts instead of explicit. If you click where on that section, you can turn off explicit material. A little further down in that same section. In app purchases, please turn that off. Require passcode, the default is every 15 minutes. If you are not using this to download a number of apps all at once, it's a good idea to click on Require Passcode and change it to Immediately. Okay, a little bit further down under Privacy, look for Location Services. Ensure that Location Services are on, Camera is off, Siri is on, and Find My iPad is on. And then up at the top of that right-hand side, please click on Don't Allow Changes and then click on where it says restrictions right under the time. In the same privacy section, there's Twitter and Facebook. If you click on both of those, and once we are within them, click on don't allow changes, please. In the next section, allow changes, please choose accounts. Please choose don't allow changes. And then finally, at the bottom there, under the game center, you should have multiplayer games and adding friends both turned off. Up at the top of the screen, underneath the clock again, the time, please click on General. One last thing you may wish to do, use Side Switch 2 is right under Restrictions. You may wish to have that say Lock Rotation instead of Mute, but that is a personal preference. Once you're done, touch the Home button and it brings you back to your home screen and you're ready to use your iPad. If you have any questions, please contact your digital literacy resource teacher and he or she will be able to help. Thanks and have a great day.